Hello. Oh. Hi. <laughs> We're all here. Shall I sit down, Emily, so people yeah. can see you? Is you so diddy? Don't say diddy. So, good morning. Today is the 9th of December. So, it's Friday. I'm already in my uniform for work. So, normally I cycle, but today. I'm walking because Mummy's got Christmas drinks after work today. Mm -hmm. So um, I've got some clothes to change into afterwards. Today's my school's Christmas jumper day. Yes, and, and Catherine's feeling a little bit under the weather. Yeah. So we're hoping... And I'm tired. Yeah, so we're hoping that um, the paracetamol that we took a little while ago is going to start... Yeah having an effect because she doesn't want to miss school because you like school don't you yeah so uh yeah so shall we get on with our calendars yeah. then <laughs> give a christmas hug oh is that what it says give a christmas hug yeah <laughs> have you found your door number nine no. yet oh. that Catherine's just trying to help you find the door there it is oh there it is <laughs> Oh, those Barbies look cool, don't they? Looks like a bird. Is it stuck again? Uh -huh. It was stuck yesterday, wasn't it? Do you want me to do it? Naughty chocolate. Uh -huh. There you go, sweetheart. It's a, li it's a little Twitter bird. There's probably a Robin. Here's number nine. Oh, that's number 23. There's... There you go. Oh, oh, it's a lanyard. That's lanyard. cool, isn't it? It's a shame you can't change your la your your school lanyard for that one because mm. this one's all rainbow. <laughs> like that. Yeah, is that. Wait, a lanyard. That looks so cool. Wait, is it like your one on the back? So it's like so you can clip things on there. So Mummy's got one for work, <coughs> and I hold my I hang my work keys and my work fob. But what can on I there. hang on here? Fob. Mm. Mm. I know for when, when I'm at home. <laughs> can hang. Yes, because I'm walking. I have to leave work for work yeah, early. Nice. So I think it's another yarn day today. <laughs> now I. Did not get day five's yarn finished last night. I've probably got about three or four rows left on the mini skein left. I have caked up day seven's yarn, but I haven't started using it. And I doubt I'll get any knitting done tonight because, well, I might be a little bit tipsy when I get home. <laughs> so let's get this envelope open. Minus one oh. in the green. Yes, minus one again. Oh, let's see what we've got. Ooh. Nice. It's very nice. There's a little bit more of that brownish colour. What's the um, tradition? We'll find out in a second. Okay, shoes by the fire in the Netherlands. Okay, let's have a read of this. Oh, I changed my nails last night. So they're a bit sparkly this morning. Every year in the days leading up to December 25th, Dutch children eagerly place their shoes, I'm going to guess that's shoes, not shows, by the fire in hopes that Sinterklaas will fill them with small gifts and treats in the night. Traditionally, carrots are left in the shoes for Sinterklaas's faithful steed. Sinterklaas in the Netherlands, Emily. A white horse named Amerigo. In the olden days, naughty children would receive a potato in lieu of gifts, but potato punishment is no longer considered an appropriate scare tactic. Oh dear. So what does Santa leave you if you've been naughty? Coal. Coal. And the man from you... You want from the Great Central Railway. He said that you can lick coal. 
some people I like listen. some people like to eat it. And I'm never going to do that if I get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Um, it is twenty minutes to five on Saturday, the tenth of December, and I have had to get up early because I have a headache. And I can't really say too much because it's kind of self-inflicted. <laughs> I had my work drinks last night and my manager just kept pouring, <laughs> which I should have told her to stop. I haven't drank that much in an evening since probably I was a teenager when I was about 19, 20 so um, yes I've just had to get up to take some paracetamol hopefully I'll be able to get back to upstairs once they've kicked in a little bit more sleep because we are supposed to be off to Oxford today um, I'm waiting until Catherine is up before we make our final decision because obviously she wasn't well at all yesterday. She did go to school, um, but she felt very tired, very drained. So I've said we'll see how she feels this morning when she gets up. I don't want to have to wake her up too early. Um, but if we're heading to Oxford, we'll need to get an early-ish start so we can have a full day. So that will be possibly... We need to be on our way by 8.30 at the latest, I would have thought. So, right, yeah, so I'm going to maybe lay down on the sofa for a bit. Try and close my eyes down here. And then head back up to bed if I need to. So I shall see you all when I'm a little less hungover. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. This is actually Mummy's second good morning. I did a good morning earlier when my hangover was a lot worse than it is now. Um, so we've woken up and poor Catherine is really not very well, are you? She's a very sore throat. Um <laughs> And she's just feeling really grotty, so um, we're waiting for a call back from a nurse just to see if she needs to have a doctor's appointment. Because uh, obviously there's that um, strep A going round at the moment, and I think it's more to be on the safe side than anything. Get, maybe get you some antibiotics if you need them. So, um, we better get and do our adventures. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got a Barbie with Eva. Oh. Come on, Sadie, get this out! Ah! Oh, it's a snowman. <laughs> My knees. Oh, you got a snowman too? <laughs> So, um, no knitting to show you this morning because obviously I was out getting tipsy um, last year. So tipsy. So um, I didn't get any knitting time at all yesterday. So hopefully, well, we I'm were close. supposed to be going to Oxford today, but we're not doing that. We're going to see how Catherine feels later. But here is number ten. See what we've got in here. <laughs> I have got a darning needle, a pretty blue one, so, so, oh it's one of these ones with the little 
um, flicky bit at the end to make things a little easier for getting under those stitches. So I look forward to using that. Um, I'm now going to go get myself dressed and make myself a little bit more presentable while I wait for this phone call from the NHS 111 nurse who will almost certainly book us an appointment with the out of hours GP I think um, so yeah but the good thing is whatever it is you'll be feeling better in no time I hope so Thank you. so yeah so yeah mummy doesn't have time to suffer with her hangover so it's a good job it didn't it was short lived <laughs> Catherine's reaction to my drinking too much last night was a shame on you but um, I, it's not my fault it's my manager's fault she kept buying drinks that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it so um, yeah I might try and get some crafting done today maybe while the table's all clear um, encourage Emily to do some arts and crafts Maybe if Catherine feels up to it, she might do a little bit later as well. If she feels up to it, we might go into the city centre later to have a look at the Christmas lights and do some displays in town. But we'll have to wait and see um, how Catherine feels. Good morning. Good morning. Today it's is... uh, the 11th of December. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Stop bashing me arm, Emily. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, so we've got, still got a poorly Catherine, although she's feeling, no, Emily, she's feeling much better than she did yesterday, aren't you, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. We've got a doctor's appointment this morning, so no church again. Because uh, it's that, because it's in the middle of the service. Yes, it's at 10.30, <coughs> when obviously church normally starts at 10, so. And um, last time, when we went to pick up Mummy, you from, from... Lead camp. We missed for the, the we missed church. Yes, we haven't been for a few weeks, have we? That's um. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll definitely try and get there next week because next week, um, as well as the normal service in the evening, they have a carol service. Boo! So we can sing Christmas songs. Boo! I don't want to go. Then. I don't want to go in the evening. But it's for Chris singing Christmas songs and there's mince pies and stuff to eat. I'm just going to be there for the food and not for the singing. <laughs> yes, so we're going, hopefully, we'll get to Oxford next weekend. Otherwise, it'll have to be after Christmas that we go. But... So I've been frantically trying to get um, the mini skin from the 5th of December done. Is it the 5th? No, the 7th. I've done the 5th. The 7th. <laughs> um, <coughs> because obviously, um, she snuggles with this one I yesterday. I didn't get a lot of knitting done yesterday because we were, we were having snuggles, weren't we? So, um, <coughs> the 9th uh, mini skein is still in the box. I hope to get that started today. We shall see, we shall see, because Catherine's feeling better. She may not need as many snuggles, um, well, they will still have some. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I better get the advent calendars done and then get um, showered and dressed to get you off to the doctors. Yep. It's a bold body. Yes. Well, I know it's the girl, not boy. What do you think it's the girl? Mmm. You got it. And a Christmas tree. What you got? Oh, it's little angel. I think it's a doll. It's a I Christmas see no tree. Wings. I see no wings. So we're watching a classic this morning. Emily wanted to watch Snow White. Oh, yes, we Found did. It. We did get some COVID <coughs> tests yesterday. Um, it's not COVID. Oh, oh no! Sorry, you're ripping the box. Get open it. Okay. Looks like it's it's a um 
Oh, it's one Do of I... those pens with them um, little, little balls in there that you can send down and up and down it. So it's like a maze because there are dead ends and things. So you have to work out how to get your, the balls from the top to the bottom of the pen. I'm trying to work my way yeah. to the top. Well, oh. I hope you're keeping all of your things nice and safe. Yep, here's mine. Okay, so here's my advent. So let's just show you the shawl. <laughs> it's getting longer now. <clears throat> this is quite thick. So, obviously there's day one, day three, day five, day seven. So I've got about four or five rows left of the um, garter stitch before I do another row of this so I have this much left day seven so I will be working on that as much as I can today uh, so let's get oh, that's yesterday's envelope let's take this, so this one is day nine's mini scheme, so I'll get that out ready to cake up because I will get round to it today. I'll get it started at least. So let's get that out of the way. Ooh, it's all getting in a mess now. Right, so day 11. Can't believe we're nearly halfway through our advents already. Into it. Oh, I made a right pig's ear of that envelope. I ripped the flap. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like. I like those colours a lot. Very lovely. And I love how the yellow seems to be carrying all the way through, so it's not too disjointed in its colours it does seem to flow quite nicely into each other and let's see what the tradition is when I can get the slip open oh. flying witches Norway no. so according to Norwegian folklore Christmas Eve is the day when mischievous spirits and witches take to the skies for mischief and general tomfoolery as witches often use brooms as their preferred mode of transportation, it's tradition for Norwegian families to hide away any sweeping sticks where the, sti where the witches won't be able to find them. So I'm going to guess that all the brands in here is going to represent the brooms. So I'll leave this mini skin in here um, so I don't get it mixed up and put it in in the wrong order. And hopefully I'll be in a position I need to get caught up because I'm I need to work because on something I need to work on something yeah. other than this while I yeah. <laughs> during December yeah. um, but if not yeah. I shall just have to have some the time yeah. in between Christmas and yeah. New Year focusing on other yeah. things but uh, it will be finished I'm going to get this finished and be as close to keeping up to date as I can. So that's that. <clears throat> I better go and get myself sorted and showered and dressed, ready for taking Catherine to the doctors. I just pressed play. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is December the 12th and um, it's Monday. I'm back at work today. Boo. We're back at school today, Boo. Well, you're back at school. Catherine's going to have a day off. Uh. <clears throat> Just because she's still feeling under the weather. Mm -hmm. um, so she's. She, <coughs> we went to urgent care centre yesterday because we were concerned because she had a lot of throat symptoms with the strep A um, problem that's going around. We were concerned that that no, might I be... No, I didn't have it. I think no. it's only for bigger children. No, it's for anybody can have it. So we were concerned about that. So You're lucky you don't have scarlet fever for a minute. So we, we thought we'd better get it checked out before um, 
we sent her back and they the, do, the doctor get checked over and it's just a very bad cold so that's all good um so she's feeling a little better this morning compared to yesterday mm -hmm. but oh sorry darling that's it's okay she um but we're going to have well you're going to have a rest day i'm not going to get a rest day because i'm at work <laughs> and she's going to rest and chill out and read her books but uh, thing was my idea no it was always my idea it was my idea and um hopefully you'll be much better for school tomorrow <coughs> his phone have you got number 12 yet no oh some holly and a christmas pudding oh yeah let's see which barbie you've got in your calendar barbie you've got that barbie no no, Barbie. That I'm... is Barbie, is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's a second. Three, two. Okay, get fuck it out, please. And do what you normally do. Come on, Mr. Cath Chocolate. Catherine, Catherine's an expert at this. There we are. The snowflake. The snowflake. Straight in the mouth before we get a chance to look at it. <laughs> we left our marshmallows and sprinkles on the table. <coughs> we we did hot chocolates yesterday, didn't we? Posh hot chocolates with cream. Ooh, Ooh. identity. Oh, it's a bag tag. Oh, bag tag. So you put your name on there. Bag tag. Bag tag. Yeah. It's in rainbow <coughs> colours. And you like rainbow colours. Okay, so here's my advents. But first I'll show you my progress on the advent wrap. So it's getting really long. There we go. So here it is. Now there is a bit of a jump. I'm wondering if I got the wrong colours out yesterday because we've got this really lovely bright yellow and then we've gone to these really dark ones here. So I, I'm a bit, I'm questioning if I might have got this switched out. Too late now. I'm not unpacking all of that. Um, <laughs> but not the whole wrap. Just also uh, a little bit of a boo boo for this mini skein. I did four more garter rows than I should have done, so um, it didn't go much past the lace as the other ones have. So obviously these ones have gone a few about four or five rows over. <clears throat> and I have somehow managed to do nine four row repeats instead of eight on that one. So I have this much left. And um, according to my little tally sheet, I've got um, two rows of garter and then 18 rows of the lace section left to do um, on this part. So hopefully this will be enough to last that. So I'll leave this one out and get this balled up this morning, ready for when I get to this. So no pat lunch, have to do today. I've got leftover chilli and um, Catherine can make her own um, salad later. So, ooh, that feels quite weighty. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, it's a coaster. Let me see. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, no, it's not a coaster. It's um, one of those uh, teaspoon rests. Oh. So we have a Christmas one of these now. I might swap that one out with our uh, the one that we have at the moment, which I think has... I think it's just a black and white one. So it's in the shape of a teapot. Oh, I really like that. 
that'll come in handy every Christmas. So I'm halfway through my advent now. I'm on this row starting tomorrow. And we're get, starting to get excited now because it's getting closer to Christmas. So, um, yeah, um, I'm really happy with that. I'll give that to Simon to pop in the kitchen next time he makes a cup of tea.